What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back with y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. I know it's been a while since I dropped a video, so I decided, man, let me get up off my ass and drop you guys a video. If you want more videos, you want more content, all you gotta do for me is hit that like button and leave comments in the comment section. Man, tell me what y'all want to see. Tell me, just give me some feedback. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this, get this channel back. Let's get this channel back active, man. You feel me? Oh my god, dang! I just lost my pen, bro. I just had it. You know what? Today, since I just Walked out with my pen and I don't want to look for it. We finna do a video on how to draw using your mouse. Since I ain't did one in so long, maybe y'all would want to see that. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new artboard, 18 by 18 inches. If you wanted to know what size I like to draw on, the reason I like to draw on 18 by 18 inches because it fits perfectly inside of Instagram. That's why I draw 18 by 18 inches, you feel me? So we're gonna pull this up. Okay, when you draw with your mouse, I ain't did this in so long, cause I don't have to use my mouse, but first thing you wanna do is create the art brush. So let's come right here. Let's move this color black to the top. Let's go to our ellipse tool, circle tool, that's what I say. Look, you gotta do is stretch it out until we got these little sharp looking points like this. And this is how I be making mine as well. Just stretch it out so it looks something like this. So it can have like a thick center, but then in the corners, it had like a sharp point. That's why I just dress, drag this over to it uh, Does it give me that effect? While you got it highlighted, what you do is you go up here, and you click this drop down menu on basic. Then you go to new brush, and then you go to uh I think it's art brush. I ain't did this in so long. Okay. And hit okay. And then you just want to click okay. And then when you come to your brush, look what you got. We go to our brush. We got the brush we just created. You feel me? Now, I'm going to teach you how to control this brush. You see how if you try to draw like a, a any kind of smooth line is kind of jittery. Oh, damn. Okay, that, that was clean as all I do. Anytime you need help with making cleaner lines, all you gotta do, just like this, double click your brush, and then you move your smoothness up. You just move it up this way. You know what I'm saying? Or this way. It's one, one of the ways you'll figure out which way That'll help you. I forgot which way you're supposed to move it. One way is for you to have more control. And then the other way is for the computer to have more control. So they can make the corrections in your lines that have imperfections. You know what I'm saying? So, let's 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 draw something, man. I might make this part like a time lapse. Because this is going to be like the boring part. But I am using my mouse. So, don't think I'm cheating. I'm just gonna speed it up so it look cool. So, start with the eye. Look, I want to make these lines a little more smooth. I think we move it this way. Let's see. Nah, it's the other way. It's this way.
also I like to use my pencil tool <clears throat> to do like filling in colors. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Let's move this color black to the top. Go to this pencil tool. Double click your pencil tool. Make sure your settings inside of the pencil tool look just like this. You wanna hit okay. And I'm gonna do the, the eyebrows. You see how I'm just creating a path. And it's gonna fill it in just like that. You feel I'm on this side. I'm using my mouse, y'all. Okay, well, that's pretty straight. Go back to our brush tool. Let's create the shape of the head. Just like this. E. I'm create the ear. Just like that. Then you know what? To keep this ear. Keep this ear on point. We're just gonna copy this ear by holding, holding out. And then we're gonna right click the ear. Let's go to reflect. Okay, after we hit reflect, we're gonna drag it up a little bit, just like this. Gonna be in this top part, so it'll just come over some, just like that. Bam! So we got the little ear going on, you feel? So if you was thinking you can't do nothing, but you ain't got no digital art tablet, Cut it out, bro. Feel me? Let me see, you gotta use what you got, man. So let me see, put the little effect inside the ear like this. Let's see. And if I wanted to make these lines a little smaller inside the ear, all I got to do is make the brush size smaller. That's it. See? See how it look neater? That's all you do. You just make your brush size smaller. Just a little quick little tutorial for you guys. All right, let's uh, let's do this on uh, the headline. So we're gonna boo boo, boo boo, like this so like that, like that. Let me go back to this, create yeah, like a little box. back to my pencil tool, move this color to the top, and we're going back down, do that like that, let's go ahead and fill in this hair too, with the pencil tool, and bring this over, connect my line, Like that, we're gonna come right here and fill all this in. See how we got so comfortable using my mouse. Move a little quickly, you feel? All right, bring this down. There you have it, you feel me? Let's merge all this together to make this one layer. Expand. Bring that together like that. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's how you draw using your mouse, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Drop some comments in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat and tutorials coming soon. And I'm out this thing.